Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Troll Nation of YouTube. We start here with chapstick. I am rotating again through some of my older palettes, older meaning within like the last three years because I do get rid of stuff um, in the time span it says that you should. So anyway, I have my base face on, tails on my brows. I have blue liner underneath my lower lash line because we're going to put a blue shadow under there. And I also have, well, let me show you what that is actually. Um, lower lash line is NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner. And the color is in MPE 14 Deep Blue. So that's what's on my lower lash line. On my inner rims, upper and bottom, we have the Hourglass Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. And this color is in Ocean Floor which is blue, that color there. And so I wanted to just go ahead and get that started. Anything I'm forgetting. Before I get into the eye look, I used this Origins Blooming Shine Nourishing Lip Glaze in a previous video. And when I took this off, my lips felt dry and cracked. And I was like, what is wrong with my lips today? I'm trying to sit where the light is like that. Anyway, and the rest of the night, my lips were just so dry and cracked. I just I kept putting on chapstick like I normally do. And I'm like, what is wrong with my lips? And then the next morning, my lips were dry, like cracked and flaking. And I'm thinking like, what the hell? This was the only thing different. So I'm like, I'm going to try it like one more time <laughs> and see if I have that same result. But it was it's really weird because it says nourishing lip glaze. It did feel good on, but once off, it like stripped my lips or something. So we're going to jump into the look I'm going to use today, which I'm kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, Urban Decay <laughs> Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I remember liking it back when it first came out, but then I've been so stuck on the Fenty because I like it because it's a tacky primer. But this expires actually the end of this month. This is August. This will be uploaded maybe in August or September. I don't know. But I want to try it again because I have it and I haven't used it. And so we're going to see. So I'm going to, I don't even remember like how much I used to use. <laughs> but I'm going to blend this out as I do with the Fenty Primer. And I'm going to cut that part out. And then we're going to jump into a look with the Natasha Denona Eyeshadow Palette 10. And this is what that looks like. Let's get started. Raw gold on the lid. This is my first time using this particular brush for lid shade. This is a Scott Barnes number 63. And I remember from on his website, he was saying you can pack color on the lid because I was just using it before for the outer corner and then to let the brush do the work to sweep into the crease. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do other things with this brush other than outer corner. And because it appears I have a lot of lid space, which I do, but it's hooded. So when I go like this, you don't see it. But as far as applying shadow, this is a good brush for me for that because it color when I, <laughs> it colors, when I lift up my brows, you see this, right? It goes from my lash line all the way into my crease. So it covers this entire area. So I can start with the small part and just pat it over and then switch it to the other side, pointy side down and bring it back this way. No, this is not a brush review. Now we're gonna go into blue space. This is a clean brush. I have like three of these. Um, so this is the one we just used for the gold. This one we're gonna use for blue space. This shade here is gonna go on the outer corner Lower lash line, upper lash line. This is what I mean by letting the brush do the work for the crease. You just tilt it and sweep it over. So just the tip of the brush. So that's what I mean when I said that. Just letting the brush do the work for you. And I love it for this purpose. Take this brush and take that same shade, blue space, and we're going to put that on our lower lash line on top of the blue liner that is already there. I generally don't connect 
the corners because my eye is tear. So if I take a Q-tip, if I dab it with my finger, the shadow comes off anyway. And so I tend to not even put shadow there because it doesn't stay. And I'm going to take a thin brush, that same shade, blue space for our upper lash line. That's cute, but it covers up the gold on my lid because I have hooded lids. So all you see is the gold like right here that I took <laughs> above the crease. So I'm going to go back with blue space just a little bit because I want that to be a little bit darker over here in the corner. But I'm digging the shape though. All right, I'm going to cut this eye out. We're going to take this shade here, which is called Slate, and that's going to go in a line as straight as I can get it over the blue on my upper lash line. I don't even think this is even showing up. I think because it's just blending in, even though I am going above the blue line, it's kind of blending in. And it's taking up more lip space. Aura, this shade here, and that's going to go on our tear duct area. I thought this was going to look more white than it does. We're using this shade here. This palette, they're all metallics and three pearl shades. And so I'm going to go into my camel palette and we're going to take this shade in the middle, which is Safari, this one here. And we're going to put above that blue to blend that out and also just to cover up that primer. This is a skin tone shade on me, which I like if we're blending out colors and so you see the difference this does look more skin tone because it is my skin tone color versus how that's more white so I'm dipping back in this is my third time dipping in and we're just going in that space we also want to use that shade Safari from in the camel palette and we're just going to buff around this edge And also, we're just gonna buff under here. I did not add any extra color, any extra shadow. Is this line too stark? Like in person, it doesn't look like it is. But looking up here, sorry to poke you in the eye. It kind of looks like it might not be. And I think it might be the angle or the lighting. Okay, so we're going to put that down. And we're going to do, what are we going to do? I was going to say upper lash line, but we have a color there. So we're going to just do mascara, the Lancome Sills Booster Mascara Primer on upper and bottom lashes. I'm going to cut this part out. Fenty Beauty Frontal, Full Frontal Mascara. I'm going to cut this part out. I do have some fallout from taking a fluffy brush and hoping to sweep it away. For the most part, it did. All right, what are we going to do for lips? Are we going to do a lip? Um, the Mademoiselle's. So we're going to use clap back. I forgot to take off my chapstick. The chapstick is making it challenging for the lipstick to stick to my lips. So this is what we have. This is the look. Let me know what you think. This is different. Okay. I can rock with it. Let me know if you have any looks with the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 10. Feel free to post them below. I will check them out. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks, guys.